Hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last episode, we, um, I don't know, it's been a while, well, actually, it hasn't been a while, it's been one day, but, um, we, uh, we got out of Lothering, which has been swallowed up by Darkspawn now, and, uh, we got to camp where we started talking to some people. We've talked to Alistair, Rick Harris, Leliana, and, uh, we haven't talked to Sten yet, so let's talk to him. Yeah. Sitting, as you observed. No, you were standing. It's what you asked. Well, I meant, uh... You don't like me much, Warden, do you? If I truly disliked you, I would leave. That I am still here, you may interpret however you choose. Um... Are you answering my question? I did. Parshera, was there anything else? I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Why did you come to from? answer a question? What was the question? The Arishok asked, what is the blight? By his curiosity, I am now here. Wow. Don't you have to report back then? Yes. So what are you still doing here then? Are you, well, I can see you're right on top of that. <laughs> when are you going to do that? Never. I cannot go home. I'm sorry. Thank you. Can we move on? We keep the dark spawn waiting. We're in camp right now, okay? Speak then. That's enough for now. I suggest we move on. Uh, I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Actually, never mind. <laughs> Let's go. As you wish. Oh yeah, plus four, baby. Okay. Um, are we missing a follower to talk to? I don't think so. I think Morgan's the last one. What do you wish of me? I just want to talk. I don't wish anything of you. If you must. Um. Yeah, did Why you? do you ask me such questions? I do not probe you for pointless information, do I? It's a pretty way of annoying you if I leave you. I'm curious what's wrong with it. You can probe me anytime. Beg pardon, then, while I jump for joy. What is it you asked if I grew up in the wilds? A curious question. Where else would you picture me? For many uh, years it was simply Flemeth and A pawn shop. I. The wilds and its creatures were more real to me than Flemeth's tales of the world of man. In time, I grew curious. I left the wilds to explore what lay beyond, never for long. Brief forays into a civilized wilderness. You remain an MSP of going back to the wilds. Would you not do the same? Your world is an unforgiving and cold place. The wilds I hail from is home to me, and I a natural denizen. For all that I had mm, been That's taught, a good I word to denizen, who boy. proved to be overwhelming. I was unfamiliar with so much. So confident and bold was I, yet there was much that Flemeth could never have prepared me for. So look quite the fool, very dame, that sounds like you. I can, I can, yeah. <laughs> Equal parts daring and foolhardy, perhaps. Only once was I accused of being a witch of the wilds, and that by a chastened who happened to be traveling with a merchant caravan. He pointed and gasped and began shouting in his strange language, and most assumed he was casting some curse upon me. I acted the terrified girl, and naturally, he was arrested. Wow. I do not know yeah. how well I lie, but I will do whatever I must in order to survive. The point being that I was able to move through human lands fairly easily. Whatever humans think a witch of the wild looks like, Tis not I. Not that I did not have trouble. There are things about human society which have always puzzled me, such as the touching. Why all the touching for a simple greeting? It's just a handshake. Like, like a handshake? In with, yes. What is the point of touching my hand? I find it an offensive intrusion. There were many things that Plymouth could it's never just... tell me of. Hey man, how's it going? Eyes. It's going good. Imagine me shaking a hand How right now. How to bargain without offending? None of these things I knew. I still do not understand it all, truth be told. But then I gave up long ago any hope of doing so. When I returned to the wilds last, I swore to Plymouth that I had no intention of leaving again. I guess the joke's on you. Well, that worked out this way at least. Yeah, sure. Yes. Let's ignore the entire Darkspawn threat and the presence of a simpleton as your only other Grey Warden ally, then. Not that Alistair is not a simpleton. The of your comment. Thank you. Well, let's get on with it before the ground opens up and swallows us, yes? Shabuya. Yes? Everybody's gonna like me. Yeah. At times, perhaps. 
A world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. If I spoke, it was to the trees. Did they speak back? Foolish. I recall the first time I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. I did so in animal form, remaining in the shadows and watching these strange townsfolk from afar. I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments the likes of which I had never before seen. I was dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. I snuck up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in gold. You say and it was, you have to say twas. My chest with delight as I sped back to the wilds. See, Ruth, if you can't imagine Flemeth was pleased. She was not. Flemeth was furious with me. I was a child and had not yet come into my full power, and I had risked discovery for the sake of a pretty bauble. To teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it upon the ground. Oh no, it's a mirror. Yeah. That is because I learned my lesson well. Beauty and love are fleeting and have no meaning. Survival. I mean, beauty meaning. fleeted my now character a long meaning. time ago. Without those lessons, I would not be here today, as difficult as they might have been. I feel sorry for you, but you don't need to live that they may try to deny that. Do I not? I am still an apostate mage, even if I have left the wilds. The Darkspawn are yet undefeated. No, there is much that remains. To return to your original question, perhaps my time in the wilds was indeed lonely. But such was how it had to be. I find myself at times wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror. But such fantasies have no place amidst reality. Aw, oh, disapproves. Aww. Well, so let's see. M Morgan doesn't. It's like, eh. Leon is probably my. Well, no, Rick Harris fucking loves me. Sten's kind of like a dick. I want all of these to be max one of these days. Leleon is like literally almost there. Speaking of Leleon, let's talk to her more. Yeah. Just fuck me. Why not? Uh, can you teach me um, to be a bard? I don't think you have the correct aptitude. I could give you some pointers, though. You know what? Just because I'm a dwarf? Hmm? Is that knows. it? Let's just go over there, away from the others. For safety, yes? I expect there shall be daggers flying about willy-nilly for a time. Yes? Something you need? I'd like to talk to you about something. Yes? What's on your mind? Well, yeah, why did you decide to come to Ferelden? And I consider myself a Ferelden. Mother served an Orlesian noblewoman who lived here when Orlé ruled. When Orlé was defeated and the common folk began to resent the presence of any Orlesian, the lady returned to Orlé. She took my mother with her. I was born in Orlé and did not set foot in Ferelden till much later. Mother was always telling me stories of her homeland. I think she missed it. I mean, I don't know why did she leave Ferelden and was she not happy in Orlé? <laughs> What happened to your mother? Mother died when I was very Oh no. Lady oh no, 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 no. I had no one else. She was quite old then, and she had me study music and dance to entertain her. It is unfair that I have more memories of Cecilia. <laughs> to entertain her? Um, you're young, it's understandable. Strangely, the only thing I really remember of mother was her scent. She kept dried flowers in her closet amongst her clothes. Small white Ferelden wildflowers with a sweet fragrance. Mother called them Andraste's Grace. They were very rare in Orle. But enough about that. Let us move on. Ugh. Inspired minor yes. cutting. Something you need? I'd like to talk yes. to you about something. There's one more What's thing on we can talk mind? about, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's two. Yeah, do you miss anything about Orle? Oh, Val Royal. People are the live blood and the character. We'll go there and drag your Inquisition. And her people little more than decorations. There was always music in Valroyo, streaming from the many windows, quiet refrains and triumphant choruses. And always floating above that all, the chant, coming from the Grand Cathedral. It was magnificent. I've never been to 
Sounds wonderful. Oh, it would take me a day or two to talk about Because Orzammar is not wonderful. It. It's fucking fields, dirty. Lush meadows. Of course, there are good things and bad things about Orle, like anywhere else. Sometimes I miss it dearly, and sometimes I'm glad I'm rid of it. And you will laugh at this, but I miss the fine things I had in Orle. Ah, some people just can't believe. Yeah, it must have been a big change. I much leaving Orle, but there is more to life than dresses and furs. It is sad that many have lost sight of this. Orle is very fashionable, almost ridiculously so. <gasps> But the shoes. Living with those ridiculous trends was worth it for the shoes. Oh, I love shoes. When I left all eight, Oh, I love shoes. Heels and My God. In the front. A ribbon, perhaps. Or embroidery. In soft colors, of course. It was spring. Oh, that sounds, oh, that sounds lovely. I had my eye on a pair my shoemaker was working on. It was covered in pale blue silk with amber beads on the toe. The shoes made in Orle were exquisite. Not at all like these clunky fur-lined leather boots you have in Ferelden. Ugh, just look at them. Comfortable, I know right? They're so ugly and shapeless. You'll need the yeah. Thank you. It's kind of you to say so, even wearing these mud-covered horrors. Mud There's and blood shoes. covered. But sometimes a girl just wants to have pretty feet. Oh, I could talk about shoes all day, but we have things to do, don't we? No, we don't. I fucking love shoes. She's only approving by one, and it's upsetting me. Okay, there's one more thing we can talk about. I'm sorry. We should probably get to action, but there's one more thing we can talk about. What's on your mind? Right. Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, sorry, I Which wanted one? here. Alright. Yeah. Andraste was the maker's chosen. The maker had long since abandoned the world when the sound of her singing turned his ear. Beauty, grace, and wisdom enraptured him. And he offered to take her from this flawed world to become his. Why him, he, right. her, and his, but like, capitalized? Had an earthly husband, and would not forsake him. Instead, she beseeched the Maker to return to his people once more. So earnest was her plea that the Maker was moved, and promised that he would create a paradise on earth if all abandoned their false Sorry. gods and turned once more to him. And this is why Andraste began her exalted march on the idolaters of the Tevinter Imperium. The Maker granted her his powers with which to smite her enemies. Andraste brought the Imperium to its knees, and her victories converted many to the worship of the Maker. Andraste died. You know anything about the day? Let's, let's just move on. Uh, she approved of that. Okay, um, can, can Alistair train me to be a Templar? Need? Ask away. Can you teach others to be a Templar? But I really would rather not. Why not? When the Grand Cleric let Duncan recruit me, she made me swear never to reveal Templar secrets outside of the Chantry. I'd rather not go back on my word. I respect Ask your word. Ask me later, perhaps. Maybe I'll change my mind. This is not something small you're asking, after all. Yeah, I understand. Okay, let, let's actually get fucking moving now. Um... How do you do this? Do you just go to over here and then leave? I think, right? I think that's just it. Yeah, okay, there we go. We take the people we want this. Yes. We get the boys back in town. Alright. So, we can go to all these places. We can go to dinner, we can go to all these places. Technically, we could go back to Orzammar, but we're not going to do that. I always like to start out, as you can see, if we go back to Lothering, I'm pretty sure it's gone. Oh, okay. There we go. I was worried. I was like, "Oh no." Oh, it's not. It's not gone yet. Okay. All right. Let's go to. Hold on. I have my alarm ringing. Shut up. There we go. All right. Let's just go to Red Cliff. Oh. 
I always like to start out here. Red Cliff is the best area to start out, in my opinion, because a bunch of shit going down. I may be wrong, but it's like whatever. I, I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Um. What do you mean? Is there a problem? You don't know. Has nobody out there heard? I don't know, it's he could be That's dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. He's just over there in the Chantry. Please, come. All right, all right, I'll come. And it was all quiet again. Eh, it's not quiet again. Good thing the loading times are quicker. Why? I wouldn't have anything to talk about. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They're obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done. Yes, would you like to see Greetings, the schnoz? Friends. My name is Tegan, Ten gold the touch. brother to the R. You're a rather unusual group, to say the least. Can I ask who you are? A dwarf, a quinari, a mage, and a rogue. Um. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'm Grey Warden. Grey Warden? I thought you all died along with my nephew. At least that is what Loghain would have us believe. Uh, your nephew? Alistair. I refer to Kaelin, of course. Oh, Kaelin. Our sister was Queen Rose. I'm dumb, King sorry. King wife and Kaelin's mother make her rest her soul. There is a Grey Warden who goes by the name of Alistair. Does he yet live? Um, he's alive. He travels with me, in fact. He does? Finally, some good news amidst all the bad. Thank you. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No oh, one no. The castle in days. No guards patrol the wall. We already heard this, but no oh, no. responded to my shouts. The attack started my shouts? Ago. Just... Evil. Somebody help! Evil. Outside Search the village, the just waiting for somebody we to come. Somebody, please, we need help. Control. We need medicine. I can help you drive them back. There are no dark spawn here and nothing to gain. It is a fool's errand. Calm down, Stin. If there's a chance to rescue our we have to try. Perhaps. How pointless to help. Oh my god, everybody like in my fucking battle. party is gonna hate me after this. Had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This Morgan? means more to me than. Do you want me to I can I can just get Tom, Rick Harris in the party? What transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then. There is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Uh, I'm on, well. I'm on my way. You, my friend. I good. It's just freaking... Morrigan does not like anything I do. Like, seriously, I just went fucking talking with her, and now I'm basically back to where I was before. Like, fuck her. Like, honestly, dude. Leliana is, like, Leliana is, like, the only one that likes me. Like, screw you guys. I'm scared, mother. What the bad men come? But we need more again. Am I party. Me? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Um, you're not bothering me. I shouldn't be such a crybaby. With mother gone now, I have to be brave. I just, I can't help myself. I'm so frightened. Those, those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Oh, Everywhere. wow, okay. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother See, Leliana is off. like... I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Um, you'd be stronger. Don't worry, I'll look for you him. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. Silence, girl. 
Do you want the children to hear you? Okay, Morgan, what the fuck is wrong with you? We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. No. So what I have to Let do on your good side, yeah. this imaginary good side exists. What exactly would be the benefit for you to get on it? Um, power, power for Grandma Wild seems to relate for that. Probably, also for oh, a smile, why actually. Not smile enough to suit you? How very negligent. Let me see. I would expect favor to come with a price. Perhaps you would be willing to pay a compliment. Is that too much? Hmm? I'm, you're a brilliant and amazing. Yes, I'm trying to court you. Are you joking? You're fishing for a compliment? You're brilliant and amazing. Stating the obvious will have to do. Who boy? Very well, then. You are on my good side. Best watch your step that you don't fall off. We have... That wasn't, like, what I think it was, right? That wasn't... We must pray. Romancing her, right? Because I don't want to romance her. I, I don't want to. Because fuck her. Yeah, exactly. Like, the last album said, you are a heartless shrew. That's what she is. She's a fucking a bitch. Just worry. You know, we don't have the men we need. thought that was sin. He's like, so, where? And then he got cut off. Murdoch. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? Who should have been I quite for a bit. died with the king. No. My ear chat, what can I do to help you? Didn't hear it. Yeah. Could be a ghost, you never uh, know. If it takes a ghost or two to kill a horde of evil monsters, I'll take it. But you look plenty alive to me. We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village. Providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. A fifth good man, we'll defeat the seal together. I hope you're right. I've been Coercion. trying to hold us together. Coercion it isn't easy. I don't know. Anyhow, I don't know how you pronounce here. that word. Coercion. Coercion. Charge. How's morale? Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes, and they're frightened. You mean it would help if we had decent equipment. There weren't enough swords in Owen's shop, and the men's armor is nearly falling off. I don't think we're in any shape to fight. We'll do our best, of course, but, well, I have my doubts. I just hope I'm alive tomorrow morning. What can I do to help? Yeah. We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. So I can be a wise and refuse to talk to you. His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids, so he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Well, oh, shit, you're in a pickle. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Tell them to maintain I, watch. I don't well, want a surprise attack. Uh, let's see, I'm going to end this episode off yes, here. Sir. So. What should we do until then? Pray and hope for a miracle. Walk over here so they shut up. I, but yeah, uh, so. <laughs> I'm trying to think now. Yeah, I'm going to end this off here. So, we'll see you guys in the next episode where hopefully Morgan stops being a fucking bitch. So, I'll see you guys.